Okay, we have a question from my school. Good evening, Doctor, and welcome to Kwantan. Thank you for your wonderful uh, sharing with all of us. We definitely have been able to learn a lot from you. Now, just now during your sharing, you mentioned in the Quran regarding the uh, geological issues and so on, regarding water and the land and all these areas. What I'd like you to share with us is, are you, what about all the other materials, the resources in the earth, which comes from different parts of the world, and at the same time, how is the earth being affected by all this volcanic eruption plus the earthquake? Thank you. I'm going to ask him that what does the Quran have to speak about the various volcanic eruptions and the earthquake, etc. The Quran does have verses in the Quran which speak about earthquake. It talks about the days of judgment towards the end. And all these about the natural calamities, whether it be earthquake, whether it be a flood, whether it be volcano, what we realize that Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Bakra, chapter 2, verse number 255, that surely we will test you with, with hunger, with fear, with loss of life, with what you have saved. As I mentioned earlier, Quran says in Surah Mul, chapter 67, verse number 2, Allah khalaq al mawata wal hayata. It is He who has created death and life to test which of His good deeds. And in this, Allah says that Almighty God will test every human being. Sometimes with fear, sometimes with hunger, sometimes with loss of goods, sometimes with loss of life. So if you're asking me about the volcanic eruptions, earthquake, disasters, floods that take place, all these are a test. Whenever any calamity takes place, whether any calamity befalls on a human being, it's either, it's either a punishment for what he has done wrong or it's a test for him. If any good befalls him in this life, it's either a reward or it's a test. If it's something good happened, maybe you did some good deed, Almighty God is rewarding you. Or it's a test for you. Allah is giving you wealth. You have not done anything good. Allah is testing you with wealth. Whether will you utilize it the right way or the wrong way. So any good befalls you, it's either a test or a reward. Anything bad happens to you, any calamity, it's either a test or it's a punishment. As far as elements, as you mentioned, mentioned the Quran, etc., the Quran speaks about various resources. Quran also speaks about the ayin. The Quran says in Surah Hadith, chapter 57, verse number 25, that we have sent down ayin, in which, from which you can make material of war as well as utility of humankind. Now, this verse of the Quran can, can be interpreted in two ways. We have sent down ayin, means that it is a revelation from God that ayin has been sent. In it, you can build material of war. And we know ayin and steel is used, whether for sword, whether for spear, whether for gun, whether for aeroplane, all the walls, material of war. It can either be used for good purpose, like making a bricklayer, making constructive canes, etc. But the word the other meaning is that we have sent down iron, we have sent down iron from outer space. Today science tells us, according to Professor Armstrong, that one atom of iron, the energy required, is equivalent to four times the energy of the full solar system. So today scientists tell us that iron is an extraterrestrial metal. It can't be present on the earth from before. Because one atom of iron requires the energy equivalent to four solar systems. So the verse of the Quran, we have sent down iron, meaning iron is an extraterrestrial metal, which today science has said it has to come from outside, it cannot be prepared here because it's specialized and the energy is too much, it cannot be contained in the full solar system. Hope that answers the question. Thank you.